So today I'm going to show you the simplest and fastest way to boost your FPS on Bedrock Edition. Now what you want to do is you want to go to your main Minecraft directory first and go to Minecraft PE and then look for options.txt, double click it, hold control and press F on your keyboard. Make sure this is selected down and make sure you type in vsync and then click find next. Once you've done that, change this number to zero. It should be one. But just change it to zero. Next, what you want to do is you want to download these MC packs in the description. And then you just want to double click them. I already have them on, so there's no need for me to do that. Go to settings, apply them, go to active. Okay, so once you have the render distance limiter and the particle disabler, click on the little cog icon. And then if you have a graphics card, make sure this is set to about 14 if your graphics card's good i don't know why you're watching this video if you have a good graphics card but like what the hell okay but if your graphics card is medium and you just want to boost it a little bit and set it to eight if your pc is absolutely terrible set it to two now be aware if you set it to two you won't be able to see that far such as other islands on sky wars or treasure wars you can set it to four to you know well obviously see more and still get an FPS boost, but two is recommended for the worst of the worst PCs. Now, go to Particle Disabler, click on the little icon, and then if your FPS is around 40 already, I would set it to no particles only, but if your FPS is terrible, set it to no particles plus no flipbook. But what these two do is they obviously disable particles, so when somebody eats a gapple, you won't be able to see whether they've ate it or not unless you hear it. So be aware for that. Um, next, I would recommend if your FPS is absolutely terrible, <coughs> Cyril, just minimize your game like this and play in like, what's it, windowed mode? Yeah, play in windowed mode like this and just like, yeah, this is a good size. But I don't see anyone doing this, to be honest. This is terrible. Um, what you want to do next is go to Task Manager, right click on the taskbar, Task Manager, and then click on Start Up. Once you've done that, there should be a bunch of stuff enabled if you haven't disabled them already. Stuff you need, such as, well, this is for my headset. I have a wireless headset, so I need this. I need my um, drivers. Anything else, such as applications, like, um, OneDrive, Spotify, just right click them and click disable, such as Steam, because um, this can get really annoying when you first boot up your PC, you'll just have like 20 programs running at the same time, just starting off. And then uh, next, what you want to do is go to processes. Uh, before you open up your game, disable stuff that you do not need at all, such as applications that you don't want open, maybe... um. I don't know, Steam could be open in the background. Just click on Steam and Task, Steam and Task, uh, such as this. I don't want this open in, uh, all this. Uh, this, I don't need. Wait, didn't I just disable this? I don't know. Uh, that's pretty much it for me since I have everything disabled already. Um, so also, Sable made a video on how to completely optimize Windows to boost your FPS. See if I, if I move like my application, it doesn't do the animation of me dragging it. It's just it's just a square. It's the same with when I like highlight stuff on my desktop. Um, but yeah, he goes through on how to like disable a bunch of stuff on Windows. Uh, I'm gonna link the video for that because it's I think it's like a really long video. Okay, so the last tip to completely boost your FPS. This is only for specific people. Uh, stop auto clicking. Now it may come across as a joke, but genuinely auto clicking does in fact take a toll on your FPS by a lot, like a lot. You could be on 30 FPS and if you start auto clicking, that's gonna be 10. It's gonna go down to 10 FPS. So um, yeah, ever turn down that auto clicker or just stop completely, man. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I just thought I'd give you guys a quick tutorial on how to boost your FPS.